If I had to describe a Hawaiian fighter, I would say passionate and just willing to take it to the end, you know? The peaceful mind is the most important thing because that's what brings you down to life. When you can find the switch and you just enjoy, it's a beautiful thing. When it's training time, it's training time for me and that's when the switch flips, you know? When I get in the gym, it's grueling, it hurts, but it's something that I love to do, you know? There's no place else I honestly think I would be this happy, so it's just a great feeling to be able to make a living doing what I love. I think that, like everyone who wants to stay in pain against me, só que tudo pode acontecer nessa luta, eu tô trabalhando muito a parte de pé também, e ele pode ser surpreendido também, mas o meu jiu-jitsu vai ser muito importante nessa luta, com certeza, como foi nas outras também. I train jiu-jitsu, I train wrestling, and I'm, I'm ready for whatever, you know, so wherever the fight go, I, I'll be great, but, you know, I, I see this fight being a, a great stand-up war. He's hurting people on the feet, then submitting them. You know, that's that's a well-rounded guy. That's a guy that's hurting you and then submitting you. So I I, I would say Charles Oliveira is a is a well-rounded guy. Quero mostrar para pessoas que eu posso lutar muito no evento, que eu posso andar para frente o tempo todo, que eu posso lutar com os caras de grande nome e que eu quero entrar entre os top cinco. My hard work is done. The easy work is a uh, Sunday night. Thirty miles west of Honolulu, in a part of Oahu tourists rarely visit, lives one of the UFC's most formidable rising stars. A proud product of the dry, rugged west side of Oahu since making his UFC debut at just age 20. The hope I, I want to give these kids when I come talk is just that motivation to just be greater than what Wainai has to offer, you know? There's only one person that needs to believe in you, and that's yourself. I want that UFC gold, you know? I, I want to be known as one of the greatest MMA fighters ever lived. But then what would really make my day is 10 years, 20 years from now, when a young man, young lady comes knocking on my door and tells me, you know, you changed my life. We have this warrior blood in us, you know? Quando eu entrei no UFC, todo mundo é, cogitou como eu era uma promessa e começaram a me chamar de John Jones. Eu não quero ser o um John Jones, eu quero ser o melhor do que o John Jones. Max Holloway versus Charles Oliveira is a fight between two very skillful and up and coming 145 pounders. He's so dangerous off of his back that fighters can't rest when they take him down. I just can't see see who wants him more than me right now. Ele vai lutar com o adversário como ele nunca lutou na vida dele. Não posso te dizer quando que vai acontecer, mas que eu vou ser campeão, eu vou ser campeão. He's gonna find out the hard way. Charles Dubronx Oliveira! They call this man the Bronx. His nickname comes when he would walk in the gym and everybody would say, uh oh, here comes the kid from the ghetto. 145 and a half. 145 and a half. Laser Charles focus for all of that. So he started fighting right out of high school. So he plans to actually go back to school, college, after he's done fighting. Which, why not? I mean, the brain should still be intact. Who knows if the body's still working at that point, right? Like, which is a weight loss. Fair to say he's the best thing to come out of Hawaii since PJ Penn? You know, I have a guy called Ken McGrove that stays at my house. That <laughs> <laughs> he might give me a slap if I say that. They may not be household names yet, but these two are going to put on such a great fight. Two very, very exciting fighters. Well, earlier tonight, the stars of the show made their way to the arena. Also taking part in the sports UFC headliner, fellow featherweight contender Charles Oliveira. Let's start with Max Holloway. Let's talk about his striking. He's accurate, he's fast, and he's confusing. The minute you start to think you got his timing and his range, he switches it up on you and throws something different and unique at you. Charles Oliveira, he is a vicious striker. Loves to go to the knee from the Muay Thai clinch. Incredible elbows from striking, and he's one of the few guys who's just as violent on the ground as he is on the feet. Tonight is big for me, you know, it's my first UFC main event. Fans are in for fireworks tonight. She's a young lion, I'm a young lion. And when two lions try to come the king of the jungle, it's gonna be one hell of a fight. I've been surfing for maybe like three months now, four months. I love it, you know, and being out there in the ocean, getting away from everything, you know, the gym and life, period, you know, and 
getting up on a wave and riding it, it's, it's a crazy feeling. Estou crescendo mais na parte do jiu-jitsu. Cheguei naquilo que era meu, meu sonho também, de ser faixa preta. Hoje a faixa preta é do primeiro grau. Estou aprendendo cada vez mais a parte de pé, mas todos aqueles lutadores que lutaram contra mim sabem que se cair no chão, sabem que nós será de finalização é muito grande. Então, se for por chão, tem chance de finalizar. There's welterweight contender Tyron Woodley dominated the Q&A here a day ago. He'll fight Johnny Hendricks at UFC 192 in Houston coming up on October 3rd. But his coach just talked about staying calm. This is five rounds, and that is on the, in the minds of both of these competitors. Now, Charles Oliveira has called his jiu-jitsu not so sharp. Now, we haven't seen a whole lot of jiu-jitsu from Max Holloway. His last fight, though, submitted Cub Swanson with a guillotine. Max Holloway, one inch taller. He weighed in at 145. Charles Oliveira, 145 and a hook. We'll see if Oliveira can take advantage of what is a five-inch edge and reach. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We're gonna have a clean fight. Let's touch gloves and do this. Already starting to rip into the body, and he just slipped another punch there. So something he's definitely been working on. And there you'll see, that's how confident in his ground game. Rips you up and pulls you into his guard, and very intelligent by Max Holloway. Yeah, not gonna mess around on oh, him. Oh, no. Like an injury. The doctor is attending to Charles Oliveira. Oliveira looks like he's holding on to his collarbone right now. No, 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 not right now. And Max Holloway, as classy as they come, went over to check on his fallen opponent. You know, but but an intelligent decision. We've seen before guys try to fight through things like that or fight with one arm. Let's take a look at the replay. And he gets up, and that's when he realizes that he potentially popped his shoulder out. Who knows, but right here, as Max has this right underhook, and he pulls that arm out, something seems to happen. And hopefully Oliveira is okay, and it's a minor injury. They continue to work on Charles Oliveira, now trying to get him on his side, now back to his back. Declaring the winner by TKO, Max! Uh, first and foremost, I gotta thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And, and uh, second, everybody, uh, send your prayers to uh, Charles, you know. This might be a title contention shot, but I believe one guy deserves it, and that's Frankie Edgar. So, uh, ho uh, UFC, why not go to UFC Hawaii? Max Holloway, Frankie Edgar, Aloha Stadium. Next year, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Max Holloway. I know this is uh, the way he makes his money, just like me and uh, if I got injured, that means you're out, that means you're not working, that means you're not getting paid, you know, we all got bills, so uh, I, I send my prayers out to him, and I hope he can get better, you know, it's to have a, a, fin a finish like this, but uh, it's the game, man. I was in Canada, I felt like home over here, the fans over here was going crazy for me, you know, I, I felt like uh, this, is a, this is an island that I was on, it, it was amazing, and uh, I just had an amazing night. Really? You're gonna win one way or the other. You had to feel that way in that fight. What did it feel like for it to kind of, kind of come to an abrupt end? It, you know, it just it comes with the sport. It's it's sad to see, but you know, I I felt like uh, Hawaii was here tonight. You know, um, the the crowd was crazy. The crowd was behind me, 120 percent. You know, the Canadian fans is crazy, and I, I love them. <laughs> I know you want that Conor McGregor rematch at some point. Uh, you said before the fight you were very complimentary towards him, but you said if I asked you about him again after the fight, you'd have a different answer. So, what what do you think about getting that rematch, and you know how far off do you think it is? We, I, I'd love to fight him. You know, you you want to talk money, Holloway versus McGregor. You you got money with the number two in that fight. 